<laughs> right, we need to get going. Can you put the phone away, please, Izzy? It's important. It's my friend. I'm sure it is important, but we're getting late for school. I want a phone. <sighs> Darling, you are too young. But some of my friends at school have a phone. Those are the ones who voted you on to school council? Yeah. Take this. Put your phone away. Please. Put the phone away. <gasps> Izzy. Sorry, accident. Well, it must have been an accident. What? Daniel! I'm going to get changed. OK, she's 12. All right, we'll just project forward a few years. <sighs> Look at the state of you. Where are you going? A mm, little confrontation, huh? Out. Where? Just out. Who are you going with? <sighs> Has that lipstick sapped you of the power of speech? Right, I'm going to text Dad. Where are you going? And <laughs> That's not a skirt, it's a belt. Let's go back to this story. This one's my favourite. Hi. Hi. Yeah, hi. The one about the wicked stepmother. The really wicked stepmother. Because they're always really, really evil and wicked. Like in Snow White and Cinderella. Good thing they're not like that in real life. Never wicked, no. Remember in the last chapter when the wicked stepmother tries to eat the lovely children? She hates children. Oh, no. That's not true at all. I love children. I like to eat them up with chips and covered in sauce. Mm, you look like far too much of a delicacy. I'll put you in a broth. Yes, that's what I'll do. <laughs> I'll put you in a broth. <laughs> you are her for pudding. <laughs> You're in a broth. <laughs>